Okay, and we have a clip here with an audio file and it's important that you select the audio file and then go to timeline and then create subtitles from audio. That will show you this pop-up where you can change things like the language, the caption preset, the maximum. Now I like to set the language to auto. I tried using different languages, but it didn't work as well as it does with auto. Now I'm changing the caption preset to Netflix because I like the way how that looks, but I'm going to keep everything else as is. Then I'm going to hit create. It's going to initialize and then it's going to read the track, which may take a while depending on the hardware of your computer. Now, once that's done, you'll see the subtitle track being on top of the video track. Now let's zoom in and you can select them and then see what is in there. So, so buy once, play always resell. That's something I say on the screen. Now, let's say you want to change something, right? So you want to change the text because it's not sale, but it's sold. For instance, I'm going to click this one and you can just select it here and then change the text. Right, that's very easy. Let me undo that by hitting Control Z. Now let's say you want to change something for the font. You can go to track and then you have the option to change the font, change the font face and then things like color. So let's put it on yellow. Now let's undo that by hitting Control Z. What I like to do is I like to add one extra stroke. So I'm going to set it to two and I like to add a drop shadow and then set that to 10. The reason for that is because the text will have a drop shadow, which will make it better visible. Now, when you're done editing your text in your video, you can export it by going to the export tab. And then this is the important part because you want those subtitles to be exported with your video. So scroll down and here, open up this menu, subtitle settings. You've got a couple of options. The first one is you'll need to check the box for the export subtitle, and then you can change the format. So as a separate file, as embedded captions or burn into video. If you select burn into video, the captions will burn into the video. And then when you play the video, regardless of your video player, they will be shown. Now, if you are uploading this on YouTube, for instance, like I do, you'll probably want to have as a separate file and then change the export to SRT. You can also change it to SRT without formatting. And then you'll need to check this box. Include the following subtitle tracks in the export subtitle one. Add it to the render queue, export it, and you'll have a video file and the SRT file, which you both can use while uploading your footage.